So you're thinking about working at Amazon, but you just don't know. Should I work there? Is it worth working there? How is the schedule? How is the pay? Can I work part-time, full-time? All these questions that we ask. But don't worry, I got the answers for you. Let's talk about it. So in this video, we're gonna talk about getting hired at Amazon. How to get hired, different ways to get hired. I'm gonna put timestamps on these videos so you can kind of click on the sections that you want to learn more about. So from my experience, you have seasonal and you have permanent. You know, starting off like at, at a warehouse position, there are seasonal workers and there are permanent workers. Then you have different work schedules, part-time, full-time, eight hours, four hours, 12 hours, 10 hours, whatever that you can choose from. So for me, I would say the best way to do it for one, is to go to the website. Let's just say that. First, go to the website. I will leave a link to the website in the description below so that you're able to go directly to that website and search for the jobs that you want. Right now, we're gonna talk about warehouse jobs. So for me, how I was able to get on, and this may not be the path you wanna take, but I started off as a seasonal worker. And the reason why I did that was, for one, they weren't hiring a lot of permanent workers. For two, I didn't know how long I want to work there, but I did I did know that I wanted some money. Now, if you go to the website and you search warehouse, maybe seasonal, maybe warehouse jobs or certain types of things you can search in the search bar to get you directly to warehouse jobs. And you may ask yourself, should I do seasonal? How does seasonal work? Well. Let's just say you start working seasonal. You get you go through the orientation. Oh, let me let me backtrack. So, once you fill out that application online, I mean it's very simple. I, anybody can do it. I promise you. And once you fill out the application and pick the position you're looking for that's available, then Amazon will then reach out to you, letting you know if this position is available, how much it pays, do you want it. And then, you know, you just go through that process of saying yes, and it'll give you a pretty much an orientation date. Orientation, you just go up there and you watch the videos that they have. After that, they give you an ID. If you're seasonal, they give you a seasonal ID, which I try to post a picture uh, on the screen right now of how a seasonal ID, or what a seasonal ID looks like. And also, if you're permanent, they'll give you an ID that looks kind of like this. Matter of fact, I think I got one. This is, I think this is the permanent ID. This is what the permanent ID looks like. It's blue. They call it a blue badge. So if you get a blue badge, that means you're a permanent worker. When I was working seasonal, I had a, a white badge. I think it had a blue outline around it. So how to go from seasonal to permanent is another story. and. We can dive into it right now, matter of fact. So if you want to work at Amazon permanently, but the only thing that's available is seasonal work, then I would recommend just, just go ahead and do the seasonal. Start seasonal and then get converted to permanent. And the way you do that, and this is a little secret, I'm gonna tell you the secret. It's doable and a lot of people have did it, me included. So for instance, if you want to ever become a permanent worker, you can't miss a certain amount of days out of the time frame that you're a seasonal worker. And so you got to figure that out. What I recommend is going to the help desk. They have like a help desk with people that's up there to help you with whatever issues you have. So go to the help desk. They should be able to tell you exactly what you need to, what those requirements are. So you can make sure you're within those requirements so once your seasonal time frame ends, then you would still you would have a good chance of getting hired permanently. It's no guarantee that you're gonna get hired permanently. But just you just want if you're trying to go down that path, you just don't want that to be a reason why you're not hired permanently. A couple ways that could help you get from seasonal to permanent. If the position had like 10 workers working there, 
in, in that area that you that they put you in in that department and say during the time that you were working there one or two of those workers quit or stop working there for whatever reason so that means that they're kind of probably in need to fulfill those two positions once everything slows back down so that can kind of help you increase your chances of getting hired permanently another way to increase your chances which I didn't like to do was when they asked you to cross train cross training is just a term they use when they ask you to go from like after you're in this one department or one yeah one department and you're learning that you already learned that now they say hey can I get you to go over here to this apartment and cross train and so they'll send you to another department another area and learn whatever it is that needs to be learned there so that could be a benefit for you because if you're learning say for instance the department you're working at once everything slows down they don't need extra workers anymore but the other department they may need some workers because a couple people stop working or because that area has increased in demand and so they need more workers and so if that person that manager or whatever whoever is over there supervisor likes you or you know you, you build a rapport with those people then they might recommend it that you come over there and, and then get hired permanently so that's another way you can do it another way that I did it so some areas have certain equipment that that needs to be operated but you got to have a license to operate it or a certification to operate it so a lot of times if you get those licenses while you're seasonal you might become valuable to them because you know they don't want to hire somebody else to, and then have to train them or you might be better at doing that particular operation on that equipment than another person and so they might prefer you to be on it versus an another person so like for instance I have uh, this is like a little card that they use to once you get certified for different things they'll pretty much like label it on the back of the card and so I've got a I got a handful of them that I trained for and I think like I said I think that helped me to get hired full-time so you're gonna wonder like how long does seasonal work last like before they fire me right <laughs> before they let me go I need to know this right and I was the same way so what they're gonna tell you is probably a year and that is technically right Amazon and their policies say seasonal could last up to a year but it, it normally does not during this pandemic though it might last longer than usual but normally what, what would happen is toward the end of the year because they start to hire toward the end of the year for the, the holiday season so you got the Christmas season before that you have Thanksgiving and you have what they call Prime Day and that's huge for Amazon so they hire before then and so when they when they do hire a lot of times right before Christmas production will slow down and when production slows down all of the seasonal workers they have they're going to look to letting them go because of production and so you want to be in a position if you want to stay there that you can transition to full time I mean to permanent so that's pretty much it I mean getting hired at Amazon is easy it's a simple process I mean if that's something you want to do for a part time gig full time gig just only weekends, just only weekdays, just only days, just only nights. All of those positions are available. All those positions are open. As far as Amazon, they have a lot of flexibility. And, you know, I would recommend just jumping in there. They do have some permanent positions available throughout the year. So don't think the only way to get hired through Amazon is just to go through the seasonal route you can't work permanent jobs that they have available you just got to find them the easiest way in my opinion is to start seasonal because they will have more of those available during those peak seasons so what i'm gonna do for you is add some clips of how the inside of amazon looks i found these clips so these are not clips that i actually recorded you don't supposed to have your phones on the floor inside of the warehouse so you can have it up to when you enter into the building, 
and you put it into your locker. But outside of that, once you pass through into the warehouse, the actual warehouse workspace, you don't supposed to have your phones. And if you do have them, policy is that you could get a write-up. You will get a write-up. It's not a question. You will get a write-up and you could possibly get fired because of that. So that's why I can't show you any videos from my phone of me actually being in, inside of the warehouse. Here are some clips inside of an Amazon warehouse just to give you an idea of kind of how it looks and, you know, you know, just to see if that's something you really want to do or just to give you a better idea of, you know, how it looks. And just for a little Amazon humor, I found this meme and I thought it was funny. So I'm going to share it with you all. And if you ever worked at Amazon, you would know what they're talking about. Just for, for the ones that don't. VTO stands for voluntary time off. So basically what it is, is Amazon will send you a text or email. Mostly you'll get it, probably a text quicker. And they would say you have, there's VTO available. So if you want that VTO voluntary time off, you just go log into your account and accept it. You know, a lot of times when you're working hard like that, multiple days and that VTO pops up is that's it's a real it's a real comment and that's why when I read it I laughed because it's like so true like even when you may need those couple dollars for, as far as work hours you still like let me see if I can get this VTO because a lot of times you just need that time off as well so if you have any questions or any concerns that I haven't addressed on this video just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will be sure to reply and give you uh, the information that I know. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell notification to get the latest videos from HE. So as always, HE family, I am he, Heinz Enterprise. Let's get it. Wow, that's amazing.